Hello everyone, this is Almir, VE3DAL. We are here at the cottage for this weekend and uh, I am excited to show you my uh, updates that I did on my uh, hex beam antenna. And uh, so the updates that I did is uh, I add uh, two more bands, uh, 12 meters and 15 meters. We actually uh, got here on a Friday afternoon but uh, and today is Sunday and uh, we are gonna be here until Monday and uh, since we got here Friday the weather was really horrible uh, high winds uh, rain a little bit of snow so I could not deploy this antenna definitely and uh, so what I did the day I got here actually uh, I deployed some uh, uh, Delta loop uh, horizontal configuration uh, which is uh, my first time I did it and I was really impressed with the result. This is uh, what I did with the Delta Loop. Uh, going uh, from this way here and the other way there. And uh, I used some of the trees uh, to, to hang uh, the corners. And, uh, and actually I was really impressed. It worked really well on FD8 on uh, uh, 20 meters and 10 meters. It worked really well. Uh, definitely I'm gonna deploy this type of configuration in, in the future. So I'm gonna show you some of the updates that I did here on uh, a hex bean. Um, the uh, bamboo sticks, it, it comes only uh, on a, uh, six feet uh, the length. So I had to add um, some uh, fishing pole extension, uh, two sessions of the fishing pole on each end of the uh, bamboos. Um, I don't know if it's going to intervene the uh, performance of the antenna, but uh, we'll see. So here on the hub, what I did is uh, I bought some uh, new clamps at uh, Amazon um, Better. Uh, it has the, the, the bottom part of the clamps here, which is uh, secure a lot better than before. Um, and then uh, I bought the smallest uh, version that they had and it was not enough to uh, to hold the bamboos because it's so thin and uh, so what I did is uh, I wrapped it around some uh, heavy duty uh, uh, adhesive uh, velcro and uh, and it holds pretty well actually and uh, so this is the feed point here and uh, so this connection is in here this is the first time that I did I never done this type of connections um, but uh, I read that if you're going to use, uh, you cannot mismatch the, the coax cables in here. So if you're, this piece is in here, I use it uh, RG8X. Uh, so it has to be RG8X all the way until the radio. Like you cannot mismatch, like put RG58 in here and then uh, the RG8X uh, after. So that, that's not gonna work. So that's one thing that I read. You cannot mismatch this connection in here. And also I read that uh, the best way to uh, the fit point for the coax is coming from the top instead of uh, the bottom. All right, so let's uh, let's put this thing up. I don't have the proper mast for for this type of antenna, but uh, I don't know how high I can uh, raise this, but uh, we'll see. But it's about uh, I would say somewhere about 15 feet somewhere in there, which is not too bad. So let's check the the, the SWR. On the 12 meters, it's a bit uh, high. 15 meters on the 12 meters also. On the 10 meters. Uh, a bit lower. So I did a few contacts on uh, 15 meters, 12 meters and the 10 meters it did not work. Uh, for some reason uh, the FT8 would go let's say half a cycle and stop transmitting and the funnest part is that the that was the lowest SWR um, <laughs> I don't know at one point I even got like a plus seven signal this is just a testing and uh, having, having some fun here and uh, it just started raining now so I don't know if it has any effect on the antenna but uh, yeah so has been so far so good. Victor Echo 3 Delta Alpha Lima. Uh, Victor Echo 3 Delta Alpha Lima is that right? Roger Roger uh, Nick I have you 5555 I am uh, portable in Quebec QSL. Uh, good signal, uh, indeed. We're just using uh, very temporary. 
three antennas at the moment. We've been suffering uh, some very high winds uh, today and uh, overnight, and we've had to uh, rethink some of the antennas just for today. So uh, running a uh, vertical at the moment uh, on the Victor uh, uh, Delta Alpha Lima Golf Bravo Zero Sierra Italy Charlie. Uh, the Canadian Station Victor Echo Three Delta Alpha Lima near you. This is day three of our trip in here and day two for me uh, testing the hex beam uh, with the three bands. Um, it has been really good. Uh, the SWR is still a little bit high, kind of close maybe to the cottage. That could be, you know. But uh, I believe like when I get this uh, antenna higher, the SWR, I'm pretty sure will improve a lot. Um, today actually is the, the first day that I was able to get out. Uh, it has been raining uh, since Friday and uh, the winds uh, died down a little bit. But um, yesterday basically rained all day. I was just able to do some uh, FT8. Uh, Apparently uh, the 12 it worked well, uh, the 15 did well, but the 10 I just could not make any contact on it on 10 meters. And uh, uh, it, like it goes maybe half a cycle and then it stops and stop transmit. So I don't know, I don't know what, for me it's still a mystery. Uh, but uh, eventually I'll find out and uh, we'll see. If anybody uh, have a suggestion, you can uh, leave a comment for me and uh, I will appreciate. So today I'm here just uh, playing a little bit with the radio. Uh, I did some uh, DX actually uh, on 15 meters uh, and also uh, on uh, 20 meters. But the 20 meters I did on my uh, Delta Loop uh, horizontal, which is just up here. And uh, and on the hex beam, I did uh, 12, the 12 meter. No, there wasn't any, nobody at 12 meters. So I, yeah, I did a few on uh, 15 meters. It actually was was okay. Uh, it wasn't too bad at the uh, signal rate parts. So uh, yeah. So anyways, uh, I guess uh, it's time to wrap it up soon. And uh, but uh, I'll keep it going with this project. I'll probably be, uh, I'll turning to maybe uh, add more bands and change the uh, the, the spreaders the arms uh, I'm thinking about to use maybe fishing poles I'm not sure uh, and uh, but uh, we'll see all right everybody thank you very much to uh, stop by and uh, I'll see you in the next one 73.